Hey guys, Mike here with EverythingAboutConcrete.com. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we clean and seal a stamp concrete patio. And if you know if you've got stamp concrete, existing stamp concrete, you can clean it the same way as we're cleaning this new concrete right here. It's just a matter of having a pressure washer, a little bit of a degreaser, or some like Dawn dish detergent, and then you can clean your stamp concrete and then reseal it if if you have an existing patio. But this one. We're gonna, this is a new one we just did. This is a part three of a three-part series. If you haven't seen parts one and two, I'll have them pop up right here up top. And I'll have them pop up at the end of the video so you can go check them out. The first one was us pouring the patio. And the second one was us stamping the patio. So you get to see the whole project. So basically what we do when we come back to clean and seal a patio like this is... Uh, you know, the first thing we got to do is clean off the release agent powder that we used. And you, you can see that when we in the stamping video. We put on the release powder, and that helps keep the stamps from sticking to the concrete, the wet concrete. And it also adds a, like an antiquing, like a secondary color to the concrete. This concrete had a dark gray color in it. And then that release powder is a charcoal. It's more of a black type color. So... Before we can seal the concrete, we got to clean most of that off and, and get it really clean so the sealer will bond, adhere to the concrete. You don't want the sealer flaking off. And it will if you don't get this release powder off. So first thing Luke's doing is he's just, he's getting about 80% of it off just by rinsing it like this first with the pressure washer. So he's going to get the whole pad rinsed. What you see me and Darren doing is sometimes, you know, depending on what kind of a pattern of a stamp you use, when you when you put the stamps down and you and you put them together, they kind of they kind of go together like a puzzle. Sometimes you'll get a tiny little bit of paste that'll that'll squeeze up in between the stamps when you press the stamps down into the concrete. And what we're doing is we're just rubbing out the, the uh, joints there, the grout lines where some of that paste might have squeezed up in between them. So it just kind of rubs out really easy, and then the grout lines look really good after that. That's that's all we're doing. We're just walking around with a metal stake, and that stuff just it just kind of flakes right off inside the grout line, so we'll get that stuff off. This probably is what takes the longest, is just this initial part of just rinsing the release powder off. You get most of it off this way, and then the, the second part of rinsing it, which you'll see us here in a minute, is the easier part. Now, make sure you stay tuned to see how we seal this and what I like to use for a concrete sealer on my stamp concrete. That'll be coming up shortly here at the end of the video. But that's just a like a 3,000 PSI pressure washer. It's not a huge one, but it's not a small one either. And you can see when you clean stamp concrete, you want a nice fan tip on the end of the, the wand like that. And you don't want to hold it too close to the concrete where you could leave some lines in the concrete. So keep it about, you know, 12 to 18 inches off the surface and just let the water do its work. It looks, you know, when it's brand new like this and you're getting that release powder off, it takes a little longer because he's trying to get it out of the grout lines as well as get it off the surface. So he's really taking his time to do that. What the girls are doing is they're just wiping down the deck for any little residual release that might have been on there with our with our little uh, secret uh, wipes there that, that take the release off of just about everything. I'll have some of those, a link for that down in the description too. I also have a link for the sealer and the sprayer we use down in the description, guys. If, you know, you, you have stamp concrete. If you have existing stamp concrete and you want to figure out how to clean it and seal it, I got a I got a video for that, too. I'll put a link down there for that, too. That's a really good video that shows you how to clean and reseal stamp concrete.
And I just wanted to show you guys a little bit more of a close-up of that. Like I was saying, the sealers we use for stamp concrete, they're, they're an acrylic sealer. And it's kind of a, a topical type of sealer. So it, And the reason we use those is because they really help enhance the colors in the concrete. They really bring out the colors versus using like a, a penetrating sealer that just soaks into the concrete. So the acrylics are really nice for bringing out the color and, and really making the colors pop. But the first thing we got to do is get it clean so those acrylic sealers will, will bond to the concrete. Now what we're doing is after we get the most of it rinsed off, now we scrub it, kind of like washing a car. So what we use is we use some Dawn dish detergent. Put it in a five gallon bucket, fill the bucket up, and then just dump it on the surface. And then we scrub it in. And we're just getting off whatever other loose type of release powder that Luke couldn't get off for the first rinse. Okay, we're going to get it off by scrubbing it like this. And then he's going to come right behind us and rinse it off again. And that's the basic process for rinsing clean and stamp concrete. Now, after we do this, after we clean it, we got to let it sit, especially in, in the summer. We let it sit for at least 24 hours before we put our acrylic sealer on. And, and yes, you can do that. You don't have to wait a week or two weeks or 30 days before you seal it. The acrylic sealers are made to be breathable. So they will allow some moisture vapor up through them without fogging in the he is just applying it right. You can see how Luke's applying it here now. Now this is what we use. We use Foundation Armor's AR350. And that kind of gives it a matte, like a matte, almost like a semi-gloss finish instead of a high gloss. But it also helps bring out the colors. So this is the first coat. And we like to put it on really, really light. As you can see, we just missed it on. We don't want to create any puddles or let it build up anywhere. So the lighter, the better. I'd rather go with three really light coats like this than one really thick one or two two kind of thick ones. You you put acrylic sealers on too thick, you're right, just asking for trouble. So we say thin to win when we put these sealers on. That's what he's doing. You can see it doesn't take very long. This is about 600 square feet. And, you know, he might use gallon and a half for 600 square feet. That's going to dry up pretty fast too on a day where it's sunny out 70 degrees. You know, it might take 20, 30 minutes to dry up. And then you can go right back over it again with another light coat. Which is what, what he's going to do right here. So this is the second coat. Pumping up that sprayer. That's a really nice sprayer too. That's a stainless steel sprayer, so it's made for it's made for sealers that have solvents in them like this one. That won't eat out all the seals. Key is just to clean it when you're done using it with the, either some acetone or some xylene. You know, get it all cleaned out so it's ready to go next time you want to use it. You can see how now with the second coat starting to bring out the colors a little bit more as it builds up uh, film on the surface the colors are going to stay you know looking darker did he not miss a spot great see it on the edge right there it doesn't take long to put a coat of sealer on 600 square feet when you're just putting on a Maybe nice thin coat she wants to stay neutral. you know if you're going to put three of them on that you're going to get it covered really well see how nice that sprayer sprays too when it's clean has a nice tip on it covers a lot of area. You got to keep it pumped up too, keep a lot of pressure in it. So for the foundation armor sealer, that's a really good sealer guys. You know, that's the one I recommend for my stamp concrete. I would uh, check that out. I'll have that, a link for that down in the description. I'll have that sprayer down there too if you guys want to check that out. For any of you guys that do a lot of sealing, that's definitely a nice sprayer. We've had that for a couple of years now. It's just we just keep it really clean. Every time we get done with it, we clean it so it, it lasts a long time. You see, Luke thought he his pressure was going down a little bit, so he just stopped and 
pumped it back up and you'll finish that off. So the key to sealing it and, and making it last is just having a little patience, you know, in between coats. Don't try to hurry it. Let it dry up, let it cure up. And when it's when it's dry to touch and you can walk on it without it being sticky or tacky, and you can come back and you can see it's a little darker now than the after the first time you sealed it. So he's gonna put this third coat on. And it's really gonna look nice. And then if, you know, if we wanted to, if the homeowner really wanted us to and, and they wanted to pay us to come back, once they had it all landscaped around here and the grass uh, put in, if they really wanted us to come back, you know, we could come back and clean this and just put another really light coat on it and it would make it look like brand new again. So this is the third coat. This is how we clean and seal concrete, guys, and this is how... Again, this is how you clean and reseal your existing stamp concrete. If it was a year old, two years old, five years old, or ten years old, you're just going to go in there and pressure wash it. Um, if you have the sealer on it already, you know the pressure washer is going to take off the old sealer. But check out the video I have here at the end if you do have existing st uh, stamp concrete. That'll teach you everything you need to know to, to redo that. And if you've got new concrete this is how you guys should be doing it you know cleaning it and sealing it again thanks for watching guys i appreciate you if you like the video please like it if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead down there and hit subscribe i come out with videos every monday and friday see you guys